Oh, hi there. How you do? Uh, don't look at my files. Oh, how do I hide the files? Oh, don't look at them. Oh, uh, take that. So today we're filming on the glorious webcam. Full frame. It's a full frame webcam. And we're going to show you how I edit a video in Premiere Pro. I want to show you what goes into a camera conspiracies production. How we get there. Let's make it happen. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So first thing I do, we're going to have to shrink up here. We're going to have to shrink right up there. And maybe hide that. That's embarrassing. Okay, so first thing, I have all these intros. These are mostly for my Vegetable Police channel. But the one I use for camera conspiracies is this one here. Where can we throw me that won't matter? So first thing I do, obviously, is take my SD card out of my camera, put it in my laptop, and transfer the files over. And once I've done that, I put everything into Premiere Pro right on the timeline. Drag it on in there. Ba-boom. Once everything's loaded, I like to edit my audio in Adobe Audition, and they're synced up, so I just have it as a shortcut. I press 1. What I love about Adobe Audition is I can make these shortcuts. Basically, if you've never done this, you go to Favorites, start recording Favorite, you hit that, and then you start doing all your effects, de and you just keep doing each one, and then once you're done, you press Stop Recording Favorite, and then you can just have that as a button. So I've done that. Boom, I just press one and then it starts going through everything. So first what I do is the de -esser. That makes the S's sound less sharp when you get that Sally C Shaw shit. That hurts the mind. So I do that, automatic click remover. Then I normalize the volume up to minus two dB. Then a single band compressor, which just, it makes the highest volumes and the lowest a little more even. So I find that super important to keep the audio levels even. Then adaptive noise reduction just to get rid of some of the background hiss and then normalize again to minus 2 dB. So that usually looks pretty good. This is the DJI Osmo action video. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So once I do all that, I do all that for every clip. Edit the audio for each one. It's a pain in the butt, but audio is important to me. So once we're done with that, I'll let you know what happens. So all my audio is finished. Now I save the file and put it on my desktop. So we got Osmo vid right here. And now we're ready to go ahead with the jump cuts, the rough cut. So I know this is a mistake. I know I made a mistake. This is how I edit my videos. It's all by the audio. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just embarrassing. So I remember one tip, just edit this as soon as possible after filming your video because you remember the mistakes you made so I remember making a mistake many times on that intro and I always switch hands when I'm finished my thought so I can tell if I'm holding it in that right hand I know that this is still a mistake and over here have I switched yet no nope, not yet so I still I'm mistaken here this is all mistakes still going with the mistakes I think I finally nail it here and then I switch so Dear God. So I come in right before it starts, I press Q, and that will delete everything before. I like to fade in the beginning, and then we go. Hi there. Name's Jack Hammerwood. <laughs> All right. Don't know why I did that, but... So basically, I just do these rough cuts like this. As soon as I stop speaking... It's attempted. I make a cut. I press S. That splits it, and then usually we're good to go. So you can see like these are all mistakes. I haven't started, I haven't got it right yet until that moment. Then I just press Q to delete everything before that last clip. And then I just go through speedy like this. Seven. I cut right when I'm looking at the camera. I often look away as soon as I film, as soon as I'm done my line. I look away, it's a bad habit of mine, so I always cut before that moment. You don't need a damn bitch. <laughs> the hell was that? You don't need a damn bitch. <laughs> I was I was going for something and it didn't end up working. You don't need a damn thing. You don't need a damn th So you think I just nail it every time? No. I think right here maybe we started to get it. You don't need it. Everything you need's right in there. <laughs> so just keep on trying. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. I make so many mistakes. 
Like, you have no idea. 90% of my shit is unwatchable. Fucking geek. <laughs> was that oh my god i make so many mistakes it's not even funny so it's like is it worse not only is it weird <laughs> like that what the hell was that i realized right away i was like god damn it and here's where my battery died so in the case of this osmo action yes it is smoother but it comes at a cup yeah so i went home made some cucumber juice had a shower <laughs> got ready to go out again. I wanted to bring the G85 out with me. Battery died. As you can see, we have a long way to go. But it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long to do this. And I highly recommend you do these rough cuts. Just get it over with. And then jump back into the real editing. And I like to make my cuts basically as soon as I start talking. You can hear that S sound. Like right before, one frame before. I hate when people leave like this pause, this awkward pause. Get right to the point. So it's just like it goes right oh away. Oh my god. So I'm patiently waiting. That's how I like to do it. Is this good content? <laughs> of course it is. You don't have to question it. Camera conspiracies, that's amazing content. Okay, so this wasn't a mistake and my plan was to hide this cut. So I'll just show you how I do this. I took a picture. This picture is from iPhone Doe's video because it was very weird. He said the Osmo was sharper than the Sony, but the Sony's clearly sharper. You probably saw it in the video. So my plan was to post this. That's why I didn't switch arms. Still, that's one reason so, I never- That's how you hide a cut. Obviously you'd have to zoom that in. Do something like that. Fit it up there. And I press two to fade them both in. And so I would do something like that. It has better image quality still. That's one reason I never upgraded to the GoPro, because that's even worse. That's one way you hide cuts. I don't usually hide my cuts, but if I can, I will. What's up, man? Hey? Hey? Vlog? Yeah, vlog. You want to be in the vlog? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I always get stopped. I feel like such a fool carrying that big camera around. Oh my god. I look normal, what? <laughs> this is normal. Here's the thing with audio. <laughs> and you'd think I'd have it. I was just like, what the fuck am I talking about? I just completely, sometimes my mind just goes blank. And so I'll just switch arms, continue the sentence. The Osmo Pocket has the... I'm retarded, basically. I kept messing that line up. Bottom line, if you're thinking of up... I get really distracted in public. Just, I see people walking towards me. I'm like, oh, fuck. Why do you do it? <laughs> the weed whackers. The bane of my existence. <laughs> He's still going, you can hear him. That's if they even had a tripod in the vlog. This woman and the kids, they were delivering flyers, but they were like handicapped kids. I didn't realize it, oh. and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think they did. <laughs> so we leave it in the video anyway. Boardroom meeting about it. Oh, here comes the boardroom meeting. So usually what I do here, I'll separate this a bit because I make that black and white and add the cinematic bars, of course. All right, fellas, the action market. No. All right, fellas, the action cam market. This is all just improv, by the way. All my boardroom meetings, I just start talking. I come up with the first clip and then I just make dialogue as I go. Let's get in on it. What should we do? Oh yeah, motherfucker. This, <laughs> this guy up here, I think. Or somebody. Someone was coming with a really loud stroller. And I was like, God damn it. Just let me be at peace. So yeah, what I do is just lame. I'll show you after, but I just flip the screen around here. We don't have such high production quality here. It doesn't matter that much. So just to show you. Usually I flip the first screen. I just have a preset here that switches it. So now it looks like I'm talking with another person. We do. Let's not make a bet. So genius, I know. Let's make it incompatible with the pocket one, even though it's the same exact size. <laughs> so there's the infamous boardroom meeting. So I'll separate that. We'll come back to that. I like to sneak those boardroom meetings in whenever I can. Some guy complained. I got my first complaint. He was like, 
You don't have to put those boardroom meetings in every time. Can you imagine if I didn't put a boardroom meeting in every video? How much would your heart just sink into its throat? That guy's banned for life. That's all we know. That's all we know for sure. If you have a thing. I'm just a poet. I'm just a poet, basically. Thank you for everybody who's shick a -bick. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to make the final cut. Okay, so usually I fade that out. And now we're ready to do the real edit. That was just the preliminary cut. How long did that take? How long have I been recording here? So that took about 30 minutes to do that rough cut. And this is like a pretty intensive video. I had multiple cameras and a bunch of different clips. So that's not bad. So usually what I do here for the Sony, I should have separated the clips, but I can tell by the file name, all the CO 430s, that's all Sony, and then the Panasonic is the 5. Is this Panasonic? No. You could tell right away, oh my god. So what I do, I highlight all those, and then I just have my preset here, Sony, and I color grade it. It's just a Lumetri preset. Boom. You can see it. It's not much, it's just subtle, it makes the colors a little better. I'll just show you with it off and on. See, like, everything's a little gray. And I do add a little vignette just to keep the focus on me a bit because it's such a wide angle. So the colors pop a bit more, a little warmer. I like it and it's very easy and it works indoors and outdoors. That's usually what I do for all my footage. Like this G85 I have, this is the new one that I've been using. It's not much, it's just a subtle little thing and you never know what's gonna happen. If it's too bright out, it's really annoying. I like to just raise the shadows a bit. I don't like that super crushed, dark look, very contrasty. I would have bought a Canon camera if I liked that. But the reality is, color is subjective. I mean, some people like it. That's why I stopped talking about it in the videos. Just like all this, how your camera looks and the color. I just, I was getting so many comments of people giving me their opinions like, oh, your greens have, or your shadows have greens in them, oh my God. How could you do that? And I was like, yeah, it looks cool. I like it. And my shirt, my black shirt went a little green. It's like, I don't care. This looks weird. It looks a little weird. I do not care. It looks different. I like it. So color is subjective. Make your videos how you want them to look. And that's not the point of the video. It's like content is what matters, not the color. Glorious. Now this, I brought out the big guns for that one. I make this all black and white. Usually it works. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't pay too much attention to it. And then I have these widescreen bars. It's just a crop 10% on the top. So that's finished. Now usually I flip every other scene. So we already flipped that one. And so I just press shift and click on those and then bring the flip back in, boom. So now we're flipped, that's all good to go. If you press A, this will drag every clip from the one you press. So I drag everything there and then drag all those there. So now we're all one piece again. And I do believe I finished off the video all on the G85. So we'll just bring up that boom shakalaka. There we go. And so now we're color graded. We're faded in, we're ready to start editing the video. So this is usually where I bring in my music. Almost every video I start off with the song Magic Sand Crab. It's available for purchase, of course, down below. But it's just a, an ambient type of sound. Usually I don't do it outdoors though. I'm the lead investigator and- I don't like to put music outdoors. I just, I love the sound of nature. So now is what I, I just go through and watch the entire video. And that's when I put in my edits, I might add animations, I might not do anything special, we'll see. I just, I go with the moment and see how I feel. Hi there, name's Jack Hammerwood. I'm the lead investigator in the latest crime DJI has attempted. Sometimes, I don't know if you heard it, but when a clip meets another one and the audio is a little different, you can see it. And I hear this little clip, it's really annoying. And I always go in and fade it then I delete the video fade. And so it just makes things so much smoother. Sucks. So the DJI. I do that quite often. If Whenever I hear it, 
And if you want to save time, you could just do that for everything. I have three is ungroup, and then you would select all those, press two to fade in everything, and then boom, you can regroup them again with three. Those first three clips, that'll be my intro, and then this is my camera song intro. So I'll fade in that first clip again, drag everything back. So for this last clip, actually, I want to have someone else's clip of the Osmo action and put it right here to do a little double side by side. So I don't have one. They didn't send me an action camera to test. So I have to steal footage from the internet and I will. I'm a pirate. Osmo action. Hey, every day, dad. How you doing every day, dad? He's grown on me. He was corny at first, but he's grown on me. And whose video shall I steal? That is the question. Kino Tika, this was the worst one I watched. The guy had the stabilization off the whole time. Why didn't you just reshoot that thing? Jesus, love muffins. This guy Tom's Tech Time made a pretty good video about it. So I will use some of his footage and then I will put a link to his channel in my description as I steal his work and credit him for it and benefit from his doings. We all win, I think. I win. So I've managed to steal some footage from Tom's Tech Time over here and he did a little vlogging test. We have cut out. I just filmed this. I thought I filmed, I pressed stopped recording. I just want to punch myself in the face. So I've recorded this whole thing. I did all this work and I wasn't even recording. So that's good times. But basically I brought his footage in and then just put a flippy crop on it. So I cropped off his thing. I moved it over Tom, Tom's tech time. Go subscribe to Tom's Tech Time. <laughs> and then I made a title just saying this is my camera. That's the Osmo Action. Footage stolen from Tom's Tech Time. That prevents me from being sued. I think. Pretty sure. It's a legal agreement between me and Tom. So I would be happy if someone took my footage and then promoted me on their channel. It's like, thank you. You should be thanking me, Tom. So thank You're welcome. You're welcome. So, so we got a little side-by-side -side action going. 3000 owner who didn't upgrade to the GoPro 7 and why I won't even touch. Mine looks even more stable. Is, was his even on? I bet you it wasn't even on. Yeah, I think it was. But I tell you that Sony X3000, it cannot be beat. You cannot beat it. I'll show you a couple of things that I would usually do. So here when I mentioned it's a sideways step like a crab. It's like better in some ways, worse in others, and it's a sideways move like a crab across the ocean floor. So usually I would just go search for like crab transparent. I'd look at the images. I would try to find one that's like facing head on, which there are none, of course. Why would you want that angle? Oh, here's one. So there, he's transparent, so I'll save that save that to my osmo file i'll drop them in here and then what i would do shrink them down so he looks a little more realistic he's a little angled strange that's odd <laughs> i could have him walk along this thing but god damn the editing <laughs> in that as the picture's Lord. moving would be a pain in the ass so Timing is everything on something like this. So as soon as I mention crab across the ocean floor, let me just make sure he's on the bottom. Then I'll get him right out of frame. Then I'll make a keyframe, and then basically just go to the end, and we'll have him just walk across the screen or something. Or maybe he'll attack me. We'll see how this works. It's like a crab across the ocean floor. It's hidden from the world. I want to encourage you That's to not- That's good enough. Sometimes I'm lazy, but you could animate him and have him jump up and grab my face or something and have blood leak out. One thing I forgot to mention, I don't think I've saved this file once. Oh my God, that would have sucked. Sometimes your program can crash, so save it off. And usually after every couple of cuts, I just, I save it. So here we got the motivational speech coming in. That we need the music for, of course. So that is usually- Nighthawk, Nighthawk of the Mountain Flower there. Can we bring this in? Timing is everything on this too. A little quieter. Everything you need's right in there. 
Maybe I'll have it start right when I say there. Everything you need's right in there. It matters. It very much matters the timing of it. Everything you need's right in there. It's better there. Everything you need's right in there. Right in there. That's what you need. You need to grow up. Fucking geek. <laughs> Oh my god. So we'll probably cut the music right there. Fuck. Fuck. Hey. Fucking geek. <laughs> First, let's talk about the stabilization. <laughs> it was so motivational for like three seconds. Save it. So I like to visually represent something I say, like right here. I've been seeing these action reviews and it's so free. So that's where I would put another clip side by side this guy with his other other side here so i just bring that in and then again slide him over a bit crop off his bullshit there oh that's a bit too much bullshit taken away all right so we're not perfectly even here i might actually just split the clip and move it over because it does look a little awkward yeah, I'll just move my clip over to balance it a bit better. Undo his crop a bit. That's what she said. Oh, I hope she didn't say that. The title is now ruined. A couple spaces on that. We're good to go. Looks more natural. I've been seeing these action reviews and it's- Why does that look so weird? That's why that freaking frame is still in there. No, that's not even it. I've been seeing these action rooms. That's better. And now this end's gonna be all messed up. Save it. So that's basically it. This is probably getting too long for its own good. Probably wasn't that interesting to most people who don't make videos, but this is how I do it. And there's lots of stuff I haven't shown, but I don't want to edit the whole video. Look at all that. That's gonna take a while. This usually takes a little longer. I gotta watch it all and then I decide, do I have to Google something, a picture or a clip or sometimes like I have a lot of old footage myself sometimes so I'll use my hard drives and get that out and put that in. So it's fun times. I like putting it all together and then you see the finished product and it's like, yeah, we did good here. So music is a big part of my videos usually, but on the outdoor videos, not as much. I like to let nature sing her songs to us. So, I think that's about it. I think we're done here. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe subscribe if you want to. See more videos like this that I'll never do again. Sorry. But, we had to get it out there. We had to get it. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.